What's up YouTube? I am the Average Doomsday Prepping Dude. Today's video is the first of my CZP07 do-it-yourself videos. Uh, I was lucky enough to pick this up last year. Uh, I was actually looking for this for quite some time. These are hard to come by in California and I was lucky enough to get this. And it was actually already sent to Cajun Gun Works and had some work done on it. Uh, it had the sights put on, it had the hammer, uh, new springs, uh, the steel guide rod, um, but it still has the factory Omega trigger. Uh, I actually had a PO9 before I got this, which is why I wanted a PO7. I wanted something compact like my PO9. Um, I do actually like the Omega trigger. Um, it actually, to me, I've been shooting Berettas most of my life uh, before I, you know, discovered CZs. The Omega trigger stock feels like a Beretta to me. It's actually smoother than a factory stock CZ75 trigger, um, but it does break a little bit further back than I would like. Uh, breaks further back than a Beretta, um, as well as a CZ. A CZ actually breaks further forward than a Beretta. Beretta breaks about right here, uh, so it does break a little bit further back than I'm used to. So, I've been putting in these old style triggers into a lot of my CZs, which I really, really like. And Kitchen Gun Works has an Omega version for this. So I figured, you know what? Why not? 40 bucks. I'm a sucker for, you know, aftermarket parts. And uh, I like to repart my guns anyway and try to make everything better because that's what I do. So, um, like I said, I haven't done really anything to this pistol. It, it came Cajunized from the person I bought it from. I did put the uh, the Talon grip tapes on it after I discovered, or after I found which uh, backstrap I liked. Um, so now, you know, if I want to take the backstrap off, I gotta cut the, the grip tapes off. But uh, I haven't really done anything to this. Um, it's, it's exactly how I got it from him. And uh, he actually is one of my viewers. So thank you very much for, uh, you know, selling this to me. And uh, I just wanted to see if I can make it better and, uh, improve this trigger. I have never once in my life taken my P09 or P07 and gutted it. So this will be an experiment for me. You guys will learn with me on what to do. I'm hoping, hoping that all I have to do is knock out that pin and similar to how I cheat on not having to take out the whole sear cage and stuff like that you've seen in my shatter 2 videos and sp1 videos and compact videos i don't have to take the whole assembly part to change the trigger i don't know if that's the case with the po7 and po9s but we're gonna find out so stay tuned i'm gonna find out what size uh punch i need and we will get started shortly so it looks like the correct punch size is a 3 30 second inch punch uh, this one actually has a flat head. It doesn't have a little nubby like most of my other uh, punches are on working on CZs because the roll pin is actually recessed into the frame. So I don't think it's going to slip or slide too much. So I think this should work, hopefully. Um, you will need some kind of bench block, obviously a hammer. And if it's like taking apart other CZs, uh, you do need some menu nose pliers to get the trigger return spring back in. And obviously I have my, you know, dollar Harbor Freight magnetic parts cup holder thing because I'm going to be taking apart my pistol and I don't want my pieces to go rolling all over the, my, my work area. So let's get started. This will be a fun experiment because I have no idea what I'm doing. So let's go. All right. So let's go ahead and take the slide off. Uh, let's push this out. You do not need your upper, so you just put your upper aside. So... You know, just looking at this, it looks pretty simple. Looks like the trigger turn spring is held in by the pin here, uh, like most other CZs. Uh, it only has a trigger bar on one side. If you look at your CZ75s or SP1s, it actually has trigger bar on both sides. So I'm hoping, like my trick on my other CZs, is once I knock this pin out, and hopefully the spring does not go flying, uh, the trigger bar will just lift up. To the point where I can actually just, you know, knock out whatever pin is retaining the Omega trigger and just, uh, you know, put this new trigger in. So let's see how that goes. Uh, I'll just do it upside down like so because I like to put my left wrist on it. 
Let's give it a couple. Oh, it's just actually just, wow, it's just coming out. Hmm, that is interesting. So it looks like it was a floating when he sent it to Cajun Gun Works. It was a floating trigger pin because it has the little divot in the middle. So actually, I didn't even have to do too much. Didn't have to do too much pressure. Uh, again, don't just yank it out because your punch is what is retaining the spring inside. So I'm going to cover everything and just slowly, slowly pull it out. And I hear the spring. Spring is over here. Good. Okay. So now let's see how this thing works. I've never taken this apart. Actually, this looks pretty freaking easy, hopefully. Uh, can I lift this up? No, I cannot lift this up. Spoke too soon. Um, so it looks like it's catching on over here. Hmm. How does this come out? Okay, so it's retained by this over here. The trigger bar slides through. It's not like regular CZs where it uh, you have a pin you can just push out. So I need to clear the bottom of the trigger from the frame. This looks like it's going to be more difficult than I imagined initially. Hmm. Can I pull this forward? cheat somehow i like cheating on these things oh 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 there we go oh score win for the average doomsday prepping dude here we go okay get this bad boy out i don't have the always good to put these uh it's only one okay it's always good to put your over travel shoes in first because it's a lot easier so we'll do that now. My neighbor has farm animals and I live in Los Angeles. Go figure. Uh, I don't think she's allowed to, but whatever. Okay. Is this gonna go in? The problem with these uh, Cajun Gunworks triggers sometimes is uh, they have some of the, when they drill and tap it, they still have some of the uh, the material that uh, you got to kind of get off of the trigger. I don't think I care too much about the over travel trigger right now because the over travel screw. Uh, did I strip the. Yeah, it's got material coming out. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see. Is this going in? No, not going in. Yeah, I could see you could see some of the materials coming off of the uh, unthreading from the uh, from the one is drilled and tapped. Actually, now it's going in. Okay, good. So I just cleaned out all the crap there. Okay, good. I'm not going to put it in all the way. I'm going to have to blue lock tight this later. All right. So it looks like let's just compare trigger orientations or trigger trigger sizes. So if this is like this. It's a little bit more curved, it looks like. I don't know. It does look a little more curved. Well, let's put that away. And let's see if I could cheat this sucker back in. So what did I do? I just pulled it this way here. And got it under. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that. Actually, this looks like it's... Well, look at that. That went in a lot easier than I thought it was going to. Okay. So now let's grab my floating trigger pin. Slide that in. Get it started here like so. Again, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to hold with my left. I'm just going to hold the pin with my left finger here. Uh, I'm going to grab my you know, those pliers. Actually, i got to do the other way. And if you do this, since I'm right-handed, like I said, but I'm holding those pliers with my left, with my right hand, this longer portion of it needs to go into the frame here, and then ooh, that's something different. I think this goes into what it looks like the trigger, like so. Okay, so the spring goes into the trigger, like so. There's actually a hole. It doesn't have a cutout like regular CZ triggers, 
and then this long portion will go over into this cutout notch there. So let's try if I can do, oh, the pin went too far. So let's get that out. Like I said, folks, this is the first time doing this. And this is not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Let's see, well, maybe I spoke too soon. Oh, oh, nope, 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 it's going in. Okay, so let's, let's give this a couple whacks. Okay, wow. Got it in. Wow, okay. So let's try this. Okay. Function test. Actually, it breaks. Whoa. Still breaks pretty far back, but I do like the way this feels. My screw is a little bit further back. I think I'm going to have to tinker with this a little bit. Um does feel better than the stock trigger I'm not sure if I like it though uh, it's a little bit different it's not like my old style 85c triggers on my SPO1s but you know it is uh, it's different than what I had since I have a PO9 with the stock Omega trigger I can compare it with that later but for the purposes of replacing your trigger with the Cajun Gunworks Omega old style trigger that's how you do it, folks. My first time doing it and did it in under seven minutes. So please like and subscribe to my channel. And a big shout out to the person you know who you are who hooked me up with this last year and is now a subscriber of my channel. Thank you very much. I love this pistol. Um, and tune in next time. And thanks for stopping by.